how to connect a threaded metal pipe to a plastic pipe. A lot of times, you'll have an old metal pipe that's threaded, and you'll need to connect it to a newer plastic pipe. In this case, I have an old galvanized nipple, and I need to connect it to PVC. Usually what people do is they take a simple female adapter, PVC, screw it on to the metal pipe with Teflon tape, and then they'll glue the PVC directly into that. Now these female adapters are not recommended to be used on metal pipe because they can often crack if stressed or over tightened. These are really only good if you're screwing on a plastic pipe. So you want to use some sort of male fitting. In this case, this is a male adapter. You could also take a Schedule 80 PVC nipple and cut it in half. That's something I've done and it's probably the best male adapter you could use. But in this case, this male adapter will work fine. Now, of course, I can't just take these two pieces and screw them together because they're both male threads. So you need some sort of coupling. And whatever coupling you use, you want it to be the same type of pipe as whatever metal pipe you have. So if you had a brass pipe, you'd use a brass coupling. Or if you had a galvanized pipe, you'd use a galvanized coupling. There are many different galvanized fittings you could use. You could use a simple 90, a T fitting and have two plastic pipes come off of it. Or in my case, I'm actually gonna use a 45 because I want the plastic pipe to go out of 45. So this will go on the metal pipe, the adapter will go into the plastic, and then it'll connect like that. But it's not as easy as just screwing all these together. There's a way I need to seal this connection, and that is done with Teflon tape. Years ago, they'd actually use wicking, and that would go in the threads, and that was what made a proper seal. Now, when you wrap the tape onto this pipe, you need to wrap it in the right orientation. So if I were to wrap it like this and screw my fitting on, it would actually peel the tape off. So I want the tape to go the other way. And you can see how as I screw the fitting on, it'll force this tape down. You want to wrap it clockwise. And then this tape sticks to itself. You're going to wrap about four wraps tape. Now this is one inch pipe so it doesn't take too much. You can see how it sticks to itself. And now I'm going to take fitting and screw it on to galvanized. Alright, and now after I get it hand tightened, I need to tighten it with some sort of wrench. I usually with this metal pipe, you'd use a pipe wrench. Now when you use a pipe wrench, you must hold back with one wrench on the pipe and then tighten the fitting with another wrench. If you don't hold back on this pipe, you could possibly undo a connection down below. So you really need to hold back on the pipe and on the fitting. Now you could also just use a channel lock pliers which will tighten these two just fine if big enough. After you have that tightened all the way, you're gonna then put Teflon tape on the middle threads of the plastic. You can see, same way how as I'm screwing this, it's basically pulling tape down. And same thing, three or four wraps. And pull tightly as you do this. Okay. You can really see how as you screw this in, it'll pull the tape in place. Of course, you'll start with your hands. And there may be some cases where with the plastic, you could just use your hands. But you usually want to add an extra tighten with a channel lock pliers. You never want to use a pipe wrench on plastic pipe because you could break it. So you always want to use a channel lock pliers and give this an extra snug. And after you do that, you can take the primer, in this case it's purple, some codes require the purple primer, and you apply the primer to the inside of the fitting and the outside of the pipe. Then after you do that, 
You want to work very quickly because you don't want this primer to dry. Take the PVC glue, apply it to the fitting, and then to the pipe, and then you'll push these two together and hold for about 10 to 30 seconds. And then these two will get chemically welded together, and now you have a proper connection.